point of view outside of the of the box. So let's say that because Yusef during this is a speech say that the water sector is is not is a conservative sector. It's not running. Uh, let's say that. So from your point of view, what, what's the situation right now where we are working? The research is working. If it's not running, if, which is the direction of the innovation of the of the the sector? Well, uh, thank you very much, and uh, hello everybody. Uh, well, uh, actually, this is a quite uh, interesting question. It, it will take a lot of time to answer, but uh, to be short, uh, as for my experience, I would say that. Uh, the innovation uh, is going to follow, uh, is going to be driven by uh, mostly new regulations. You know that uh, uh, in the world, in the, the water sector, both drinking water and, <clears throat> and wastewater uh, and sewer sludge, we have uh, new regulations held by the legal. And uh, draft uh, regulations are under discussion. And uh, I would say that uh, uh, innovation should deal with uh, uh, carbon neutrality of the process, that means energy storage seeking and also reducing greenhouse gases emissions. And that means uh, uh, pushing uh, digitalization in the water sector. Uh, it's very important to find new technologies uh, or innovation for the removal of trace pollutants, microplastics. Uh, indeed, uh, uh, some topics are still uh, has to be still investigated, like microplastics, for example, because we, uh, indeed we don't know how to measure them and we don't know if they are really toxic and uh, give uh, uh, problems to human health. Uh, but I think that uh, now we are going to uh, improve uh, the present technologies. We have heard a lot of uh, innovation ideas. I would expect something like in the beginning of the last century, something like uh, inventing a very new process. Uh, in 1994, uh, three guys uh, discovered the activity sludge process. Until that date, uh, people uh, was convinced that treating the wastewater was not the right way to, to manage wastewater. From now, but from, from that date, uh, in the world, uh, the activity slash technologies were, were widely used. So I would like that in the next 5, 10, 20 years, someone invents something very revolutionary. Um, hopefully, it will invent it into will. So we are, I'm happy to hear that some of the technologies and the target you mentioned are uh, already target, targeted by the, some of the startups we, we saw today. So this is a, a good point. It seems we are on the, on the right way. But you, you mentioned also regulations. So from regulations and from the, could come from uh, some opportunity maybe. So uh, this is a question for Marcos or from uh, I, Italy. From regulation, from the changes we have in the regulation of uh, Italian law and the opportunity PNR or whatever, is there something we can catch, uh, we should catch here in the next short period in Italy? Uh, yes, as you mentioned, uh, the, the and also Professor uh, mentioned, there are some drivers uh, at the moment which are the fact that we really have to meet the uh, most stringent regulation. Uh, on top of that, we have this opportunity of recovery fund, so a lot more money is available in the Italian market to improve efficiency in water management, and uh, we have uh, drought and energy crisis. So all these things together are creating a great opportunity for innovators to come in and help solve the problems of the water industry. The water industry is uh, conservative, it has been said before, also by Yusef, innovator, so this is the case worldwide. But uh, when you have such uh, a stringent target to be met, when you have opportunities like this, like what we have in this moment, 
then the barriers against innovation uh, are lower. Uh, there is more risk in not doing anything than in taking the risk uh, to go for innovation. So I think it's a great moment for innovators in Italy now, but not just in Italy. I think uh, it's uh, a challenge that is uh, uh, worldwide, uh, but specifically in Italy in this moment, uh, I think it's easier for uh, startup or innovators uh, to present themselves uh, and uh, have a chance uh, to implement their technology in water utilities. Uh, there is this kind of idea that everyone is different from the other. So even if you have tested successfully your technology in the Netherlands, then you come to Italy and say, oh, you work there, and utility in the say, no, you have to prove it works in my name. Okay, it's not necessarily true, but this is something that you have to convince the utility that is working in this specific uh, environment. So I invite uh, technology provider to come because it's the right moment. Oh, okay, thank you for, for the answer. On the other side, the technology provider should come, but at the other side, there are industries and utilities that should be ready to, to catch this technology. So the, the, the next easy question is to uh, our to understand uh, as a receiver of technology and user of the new technology, you start this program uh, with us, so this will, so you catch the opportunity. So what are the, the challenges and the reasons that drive you to start this, uh, this project with us? Yes, uh, at the beginning, I, I had some, some doubts about our partnership, our participation in this project, because uh, uh, we are a public utility, we are a water service utility, and we have to be cheap for our citizen uh, because we use their money to, to do our job. But uh, uh, this was a, a part of the balance. Now, the other one is uh, that our job uh, is. Uh, is changing in Italy, as uh, already Marco said, uh, we have to be more uh, efficient, uh, we have to solve uh, new problems, so we have uh, to solve problems so we have about uh, water quality, about uh, micro pollution, we have to reduce uh, the production of sludge uh, because of the costs, we have to reduce the energy, <laughs> there is uh, the energy neutrality for wastewater plants uh, that we have uh, seen in the directive of Europe, of Europe and uh, it's uh, quite uh, uh, terrific for us. And uh, so uh, the solution is uh, uh, to open to innovation, to be more confident about uh, new technologies. And uh, so we have to find a point of balance between uh, the traditional methods we have to, to, to do and the, the innovation we have to know. So this project is a, a great opportunity for us. We, we, uh, we can approach a panel of companies that uh, uh, propose new technologies, maybe some of them are not ready, but they will be ready in a few years, if you are, maybe in a few months, uh, and we hope we hope that. And so it's important for us to know that because we have to be ready for that. Perfect. Thank you for the answer, even because I'm a happy customer of Alco in my house. So <laughs> I'm happy to hear that you use uh, the, our economical contribution to innovate. So I'm happy to hear that. And by the way, we have two uh, startups that will start uh, uh, in the next month. The pilot with uh, Alco and working, testing their. their Technology. So this is a very uh, good part of our project and our this program because we uh, it's not just uh, provide content to the to startup and provide uh, networking, but from this networking start something concrete to help them uh, test their technology, improve their innovation. So the same question has to uh, to to Bonomi Group because uh, we would like to understand the, the, the same reason why. Uh, on the other side, you, know, you decided to, you are a private company, so probably the reasons are, are different. You have a, already a deep background in uh, R&D, uh, a big team in R&D, you are a, a good member of the R&D team. So why did you, uh, what, what are the reasons that leads you to open uh, 
quid program? Well, you know, we, we are a, a corporate uh, of uh, manufacturing companies. Uh, we are used to manufacture gas actuator for the water sector, the plumbing sector, oil and gas, generally industry. But we are always looking ahead to innovation and research and development. So we really want to bring together, so this is why we have to work to bring together innovation and innovator to water companies, to utilities. We would like to be the missing joining between the innovators, the innovation, and the public companies. Uh, of course, we cannot do it alone. We have to do it together. And this is one of the main reasons why we uh, apply to Twitter. So we want, we want to be part of the system, part of the project to innovate, to elevate the, the uh, technological level of the water companies, thus improve the quality of life of people. I will stay on, on you and on uh, the channel about this point. The, the, the experience with uh, Will with, with is an international group of startups. So as I'm speaking of open innovations to share the, the innovation of Google, this, this, this change your approach to innovation to give you, you, you see problems uh, working with uh, technologies innovation coming from abroad or for you is, is the, the normal question is that there is a advantage uh, plus minus Sorry. okay so <clears throat> i think this is a plus because uh, it's a, a continuous challenge so we are looking at outside of italy uh, outside of our comfort zone and uh, uh, let's say we have, I have attended several pitches, uh, really interesting pitches with these brilliant guys during these days, in past days, and I've learned a lot from them. So uh, I think that uh, um, most of all, uh, discussion like uh, conferences like today, like what we did today, are really useful to share and learn each other. So uh, in my opinion, this could be a good advantage for me. I, I agree with him. Uh, uh, we have a different uh, roles now. They are at the PMI, or, and we are a, a public company, so uh, we can't, uh, we are not an institute of, of research. You know, but, uh, so the, the, I, I don't see any problem in, the, in, this, uh, in this project. Such as the other one, we participate recently in the Water Alliance uh, in Lombardia uh, that has the same, uh, uh, the same goals as this one. No? Uh, but the real advantage for us is to know the new technologies and we need to taste uh, some of them. So I don't see any problem if they are stranger or, or, or Italian. Oh, cool. Thank you. Um, uh, Coming back to the professor, I would like to understand here we have uh, we say that the paradigm is to open the door of company and uh, utilities or whatever to, to receive uh, new uh, information and also provide expertise and whatever. So you think this uh, is the direction where uh, a way to work for all the water sector or there is something else the water sector should do to start running faster, get more from the, from the, even the research, the few research coming from university. Well, I see that uh, this project, this real project is um, a kind of um, example how to go on because, uh, uh, you know, you collected, you, you, you put together all the most important stakeholders uh, that means the companies, the private, uh, the public sector, uh, you and uh, the research institutions. <laughs> and uh, as my colleague already said, it's quite difficult that only one can go on. Uh, there are too many challenges nowadays to, to face uh, and putting the, uh, putting the forces together is the only way to, to go on. And for the university point of view, for example, uh, I see that um, uh, 
uh, the university alone. Uh, yes, we have public money to, to work, so our salary is guaranteed, at least for the moment. And uh, we can uh, work on the research activity, but the research in the university, uh, if, if we don't cooperate with the companies, if we don't try to uh, push a lot on the transfer outside the university, it's uh, unusual because we, like me, we write papers, uh, we publish something, we publish results, but without any concrete application, it is uh, a dead uh, work. And, 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 and this is not a, uh, a good way to go because uh, I, I said that we use public money and public money has to be used uh, in, the, in the best way for, for, for the people. We definitely agree uh, about this. So the, uh, so the, the innovation the research need a, a direction probably from the industry to collaborate and try to work together at the same. So uh, Claudia, what you think are the best and next challenges of the of the sector where uh, research should focus, where startups should, should invest their time and their efforts. What's your point of view? Well, I, I think that we have to work everybody in the same direction, and uh, we have to do training and coaching. We have to prepare a solid uh, uh, background in order to let the uh, public companies, the utilities, uh, will be able to receive innovation, to receive technology. You cannot say, oh, I, I have a good product, I bring an invention or something like that, if they are not ready to receive it. So we have to start thinking uh, about uh, not product-based, but project-based. So we have to be partner of them and work together uh, so that they will be ready to uh, accept and integrate uh, new solution in their actual system. So this is a, a, an advice you give even to the, to the startups, probably to approach this way the, the companies. Well, yeah, and also I, I would suggest to, to be there, to be present. You always have to be in contact with your customer, be partner with your customer, understand their needs and be prepared to um, supply in advance uh, solutions, not only products, uh, so you can be part of the supply chain, but we are forced to offer solutions. So I believe that this is the right way to cooperate and evolve together. Okay, great. Uh, so, and from your point of view, Marco, uh, about the if you have any suggestion from now on to the to the startups, so coming from the experience we have in this project and your big experience on the field, what kind of suggestion you can give to the our startups or any startups or not? Yeah, I think for startup is very important. I mean, this accelerator I think helped a lot uh, to cover a number of different topics. Uh, business development, understanding the client needs, uh, understand the market, uh, develop uh, uh, the solution. But uh, I mean, at the end of this, uh, it's important to test, trial the technology in the field, be able to develop a business case where to prove effectiveness, to prove a return of investment, to prove that the problems can be solved. This is a, a very important step uh, that uh, I mean, now we're working with Walter Bresciane, potentially with other utilities, to help this uh, startup to go in the field uh, and to the markets. Uh, it's very important for startup to understand the real needs of utility and provide solutions. This is, uh, and also, um, let's say in our partnership as real members, we are thinking about uh, how to, let's say, let's say, continue the process of will going into, more into the field. So having a, a second step in order to facilitate further more this entry into the market for the startup. You know, so it's in my home. Perfect. So this is what a startup should do. And from your point of view, Marco, you agree you the utilities, utilities point of view are uh, what what do you suggest to the startup to they should do or should be ready to do to start a pilot with a, a Company and utility like yours. I think we are we are ready to, to taste uh, these technologies. Uh, 
we can work as we have already done it for with the university that is an important partner for us in research in scientific methods and uh, so uh, we are here so probably in the in, in this in this maps in the maps so we will try to technology or maybe more uh, and uh, so it's a really perfect so the, the subtitle is to be uh, great as a good product that uh, or a solution that has been applicable and once uh, if the the numbers the numbers or the ideas are working there is the opportunity on the side other side for utilities or companies to to open to, to test and go ahead so i don't know if there is any question from our uh yeah, so. Oh, sorry, uh, we have a comment says I we are trying to help you even more the startup in this direction. And as uh, was mentioned by Claudio, there is a cultural gap to be filled. So as we organize training courses, uh, this training courses is about advanced methodologies and technologies to manage water systems. And we are involving uh, some of the startup uh, of Wilma into this training. So and we will have a three days advanced training course organized in collaboration with the university in Ravenna and three startups or two startups will, will be involved to present their solution and to have a continuous dialogue with, uh, with uh, utilities. Uh, on top of that, uh, we collaborate with the fair, Academy of Fair, the most important Italian fair, and we will have uh, also there a pavilion where Startup and innovators uh, will have additional chance uh, to introduce themselves to the world market. So these are additional things that we are offering to startup uh, to facilitate uh, the entry in the market to solve the problems of the water industry. Okay, perfect. If there are any questions from remote or any contribution from here, we are still open. Otherwise, just to the next step will be to uh please if you agree we will have to decide to show who would be the, the winner of the local contest briefly if everybody voted or some of you vote i did mean, so. yeah we checked the votes we're just popping it in the slide okay i did my i did my heart a lot so we will have a lot of winner for the local uh for the beach of the beaches and then we will uh, uh we will uh, have two winners uh two startups winners that will be uh, will uh, receive as a as a prize the opportunity to work with uh, startup Vicenza, which is uh, which uh, we have here. So uh, it's an incubator, of course, in Vicenza, like the and the big city. So, so they have they will have the opportunity to collaborate with them for the next uh, three months and be part of their of their program. Of course, the program that like they will see after is a uh, uh, accelerator program that is uh, done uh, physically here. So from remote, there will be some differences, but we will uh, see later. So we can see what is the first award. Okay, we will be the winners. I don't know for them. This, those are the winners for the. From the audience. For the audience. Okay. <laughs> see what the winners.
So here, like I said, we will, we will have a queue instead of that winner. And so the, the price will be a, a, a path of three months with a startup up potential. So uh, you guys see our Okay. Thank you. Uh, so we are set up the time later, and we choose to set up to uh, welcome in our uh, three months program. Uh, the winners are uh, Claire, Tupo, yeah. and uh, Monte. <laughs> okay, hi guys. I don't know if you can see us, but anyways, I just will spend two words about um, what we can offer. And as I was telling you during the wheel program, and we really thank you for this international opportunity to enter uh, this ecosystem. And we will uh, offer uh, three different things that are really uh, strategic to start up. Uh, the first one is um, a easy, an easy way to enter the Italian ecosystem uh, through um, a, a network of professionals, uh, really, um, that can give you some uh, opportunity to work with SME, Italian SME, on uh, PLC and open innovation programs, and also um, some strategic way to access to grants and uh, private fundings in Italy, and also to our um, investor network. Okay, just some words to explain why we have decided to, to choose these startups. We are working a lot in the water sector, specifically together with the AMBI, which is the Italian Association of Consorts di Bonifica, and also with one of Consorts di Bonifica, specifically, which is the Crescenza One, who has developed some years ago uh, an innovation lab, which is inside our incubator. So this is the reason, that, the main reason why we have decided that uh, they start also the collaboration with the CSMP. And the other thing is that we are working since uh, the beginning of 2000 on the modern technology filtration. And so uh, there are some of those technologies that are very interesting for us, but we have also a network who are trying to support them, uh, starting with POC, because the, the first point uh, that they have to, to work uh, to address in our market is to start starting with POC. And uh, the other thing is that uh, uh, we think that we could uh, also collaborate with all the other startup. And uh, we are also part of a network, which is the Lima Romania Incubator Network. So, since XT, uh, also it is in uh, Lombardia, I will be uh, part of our network. So, we think a lot about uh, the collaboration together with the uh, startup ecosystem. And in Italy, uh, we are in a very interesting period because uh, the network exists. And so we are collaborating with a lot of incubators uh, all around Italy. And there is also a very strong network, uh, international network in EU. So uh, we think that for those startups, uh, uh, this is the, the right place uh, to start uh, de developing their business. Uh, because we have a lot of uh, uh, industrial companies with a mention which is uh, uh, the right for a startup. Because sometimes, uh, if you are too big, uh, it's too complicated. Uh, we, we spent uh, some time in Germany, and a lot of uh, tech startups uh, ask us if they can come in Italy because they spent like two years just to start with a POC with a multinational company. Uh, I think that everybody knows about how it's complex to sign any kind of contract. And doesn't, uh, it's not interesting if, if there is an amount of money or not, but by the moment in which you have to sign a contract, it's so complicated. And this is the reason why they would like to work together with, uh, uh, as, as they say, small industrial company as we are in Italy. And uh, in Romania, Romania uh, is for sure the, the, the one, the two most interesting uh, region in uh, Europe, if we are speaking about the international companies. Okay, we have so huge of technology, and you are part uh, 
of this of this network. So this is our goal, and uh, we expect uh, to do a lot of things with this startup. Uh, it was very interesting to be part uh, of this program. Uh, we were just uh, speaking about uh, a small part related to startup uh, ecosystem, and uh, and that's it. So good luck to everybody. Thanks for. Great, thank you. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Camila. Thank you all. So basically, the, the day is going to the to the end. Uh, so I want uh, to thank you all the the guys. Ah, okay. So how how does it work? I think they already they already commented. So uh, okay. it was just a, how do you want to improve the day and uh, like this? Okay. <laughs> Um, so, I uh, hope you enjoy this, this day, I hope you enjoy the, the, the network, the, the, the people from, the, from the, our startups. Uh, you see here some screenshots of the, of the months we, we spent together and the, and the training we did. So, here I can say that uh, from my point of view, we saw what we saw today are basically two very important things. One thing is that New technologies, innovation, very different. We saw, uh, we saw also that uh, the technology that those startups are uh, providing are probably the right target, in the right direction. Like we we talked before a few minutes ago, and uh, seems like we are uh, going in the right direction. The other things that is really important inside the technology is so that they are uh, basically those spaces, those miles. Uh, because it's really important, even during the, the world day, during the, the pitches of, of, of the guys and girls, uh, what we saw was uh, uh, people that was happy and proud to show their technology. So this is uh, important because it means that behind the, the technology, behind the, the metal and the hardware and the software, the line of code, there are people that really trust in what they are doing and they are not focusing on, on the problem, but what the product can provide to everybody, how it can change the, the life and improve the life of everybody. So this is also the end and the target we want to reach with uh, this project, with the project of the, this acceleration brief. This is the target that everybody here at the company's university and that help us to, to realize. And uh, let's see, I don't know if you have about something to add, Chris. Otherwise, we, we have time to spend together about something. I think all I would say is that it's a celebration and in true support and uh, celebrating properly, there is lots of lovely food and drink outside for those of us who are lucky enough to be uh, here physically. So I hope you can enjoy that and enjoy uh, finishing up the celebration with the lovely food and drink. Uh, for those online, sorry you can't enjoy that. We'll all uh, have next week for all. I want to try it on. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye. Take care. Bye. -bye.